Hi everyone, it's Nikki, your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant, and today I wanted to take a minute to demonstrate our mop system for you. Comes with a telescoping handle, lefty loosey, up or down, however I want it. I like it around my chin, and righty tighty. Screw it in nice and tight. We're good to go. It's custom height for anyone in your home, so nobody has an excuse to not clean. Okay. Now this is the dry superior mop head. Let's get back and let you have a look. And this thing is amazing at picking up pet hair and dirt and grime and anything else that my two-year-old leaves around. It's a little bit different than a broom. You're not just going to sleep with it. You are going to work in a figure eight pattern. I like to lead with the small end and that's going to keep all those larger particles to the front of the broom instead of um, gathering them into a pile. We're just going to keep them in a nice straight line going in a figure eight motion. This is where the kitty litter spills. So that's what I'm picking up right now. Lots of cat hair from our long haired cat, lots of kitty litter. And in that figure eight motion, everything is getting gathered to the front and all the smaller particles, the dirt, the hair, those kinds of things are getting sucked right up into that mop head. So I'm going to get it good and dirty for you. So I can demonstrate how well it comes clean with our rubber brush. You can just use this one dry, get everything into a nice little pile and then you can use a wet enviro cloth to pick that pile up, okay? So here is some filth that has accumulated on this thing. I'm going to take Norwex rubber brush. I do this outside typically because I don't want to pick all this stuff up only to put it right back in my house. You could do it over the trash though if you need to. Um, I just step on my patio and do that. So I hold it nice and firm. Oh, so much cat hair. Gross. Give it a good sweep. Woo. And it is clean and ready to go. I like the superior pad because it has these straight edges. It really helps me get into all the corners whenever I'm cleaning um, the standard mop, dry mop head as a rounded edge. So that one's good too, but this is the one that I prefer. Then we also have a dry or a wet mop. Comes right off, it's just a Velcro. If I needed to launder that, I would with my other Norwex cloths using the care instructions that I've already shared with you for Norwex microfiber. Um, but you don't have to wash it every time. You just keep it clean. And whenever it's really filthy, if you feel like it's not picking up as well, throw it in the wash, bring it out, it's good as new. Okay, the wet mop head. Typically, I would get this nice and wet, wring it out. I have pretty poor grip, so I don't like to wring. So I just roll mine up really tight, give it a squeeze, get the water out. And then I put it onto the mop head. Now you can also do this offset. So when you're cleaning, you can flip this edge up, go along your baseboards. It's a good option. So bothered me the first time I saw it. I think it makes a lot of sense now. Okay. So I would take this, it's not wet right now, but do the same thing, except I would follow, since I'm doing this on my grain, wood grain, I would follow with the grain and mop. And then if there's a really nasty spot, it's easy to step on here, add some extra pressure, and keep moving. I love this. I have replaced my name brand steam mop that I was using before, using just this and a little bit of water. There's no chemicals and it gets my floor sparkling clean. And it's so easy with no cord too. That's a good part. Okay, and the final mop head that I would like to show you is the tile mop. This one can be used wet or dry. And if you'll take a close look at it, it's got some nylon fibers embedded throughout here that give it a little bit of extra scrub. So if you have tile floors, this is what I would recommend for you. It's going to get in the grout. It's going to pick everything up and make your floors nice and beautiful. Thank you for watching.